So now, so far, we have looked at some of the policy recommendations both for the government and the Madaris administration. Now, we all understand that whenever we go about the policy reforms for the Madaris, we cannot do that without the support, without the help of the civil society, of the public at large. So now, in this video, we are going to focus on on bringing in some of the recommendations for the civil society as well the first recommendation is that all the pillars of the civil society including madaris should establish relations with each other and work together to promote peace and harmony in the society now we as a responsible nation cannot leave the madrasa reforms as an issue between the government and the madaris and the madaris and the government that is not going to bring any positive change within the madrasa reforms itself the the population and the public of pakistan in general has to stand up and have to have to lend the support and the uh, uh, support in different ways uh, uh, with, with the help of knowledge, with the help of finances, with the help of logistical uh, uh, understanding whatsoever. The civil society, the public at large needs to stand up and bring in the right kind of direction to the policy reforms in the madrasas. We need to support both the government and the madrasas uh, themselves to uh, to to come up uh, with the right kind of strategies where the efficient and effective learning and teaching can happen. The second recommendation is improved monitoring mechanisms for madaris through effective public-private partnerships should be evolved to ensure credibility of madaris. Now, madaris do need the credibility, and especially the financial credibility for that we know there are hundreds of different organizations uh, working within pakistan both public and private who have some excellent models for uh, for for financial auditing for monitoring and regulations which exist within them we can take their help and we can make sure that those organizations can can facilitate the Madaris as well or the Wafax uh, as well to develop that kind of a mechanism in themselves. So what we are targeting is there needs to be a lot of public and private partnership. The Madaris and the Wafax need to be working closely hand in hand with different successful organizations in Pakistan to develop a concrete and transparent monitoring mechanism uh, uh, for themselves. The third recommendation is that the dialogue between diverse segments of society, Muslims, non Muslims, liberals, conservatives, non religious, should be a constant practice. We need to make sure that as a society, we need to make sure that rather than encouraging the, uh, the, the polarization or rather than calling uh, or dissociating ourselves as us and other people as others. We actually organize a lot of symposiums, seminars, lectures, conferences where people from different walks of life, people from different belongings, different origins, from different faiths, from different religions, from different sects are invited to have a dialogue, a healthy, respectful dialogue. Because of that, a lot of awareness would be increased, a sense of love, a sense of harmony, a sense of peace, a sense of acceptance would be developed and Pakistan would grow as one unit rather than as, as particular small sections. We will grow as, as, as one country and that's what is needed. The fourth uh, recommendation is the civil society and academic institutions should act as a bridge between various segments by promoting dialogue between them and should provide analytical and informative material regarding social issues, making them accessible to the trendsetters among all segments of society. Now, again, 
we know that we have a lot of intellectuals within Pakistan working in different departments of Pakistan, working in different walks of life in Pakistan. We need to utilize them. We need to bring them into our domain, into our sphere of help and use them to make good suggestions and not only suggestions, but also help us, uh, help the government of Pakistan and the Madaris to construct the roadmap of progress, to, 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 uh, to make sure that whatever that target is that we want to achieve, everyone together ensures that the Madaris and the government of Pakistan actually achieve the milestone of those targets step by step. If the government and the madrasas are not taking the initiative, the civil society must push. They need to push until and unless we see some, some useful target being achieved in terms of madrasa reforms.